everybody, Chris Chappett here, but what's up there? Well, that is actually the first go around of uh, a seat for an electric unicycle, namely the veteran Sherman. And as a lot of people already know, um, some people made some a little bit too thin and they broke. And so my first idea when I was looking at this was like, hey, you know, I'm a skateboard maker and so skateboards have concave and kicks and I'm like, you could have a really strong, um, uh, you know, base to this. So this wood piece here could have some concave and um, you could put it on essentially some risers. These were just really uh, quick and dirty um, brackets that I made just to kind of show the general concept. But, you know, then a big piece of foam would go down there. And ideally, or in a perfect world, you know, this thing could um, be tilted back and allow you access to the screen. Well, that's where the, um, you know, the next idea, you know, came. Because I was thinking, you know, part of the beauty of the Sherman is this, um, you know, this frame, this kind of like, you know, almost roll cage. Um, and I look at it as attachment points for you know cylindrical uh, clamps and so if you're thinking along tube frames and clamping I was like well maybe you could get this structure um, but split this rather than have a solid piece or a single bar you know I've seen one that has an arched bar which looks kind of nice as a handle and then a regular kind of bicycle seat like a road bike seat, you know, on it towards the back. And it looked, you know, kind of cool, but then it also looked in the way, also looked like it was made out of PVC, so it didn't, um, you know, jump out at me. It's something that structurally looked real strong. I could be wrong about that. But, um, you know, anyway, anybody who designs something and is moving forward and trying to advance the cause is great. But, um, you know, but part of this idea was, hey, you know, if you want to be able to still look down quickly, um, and maybe even touch, I don't know if it's a good idea to hit any settings while you're riding or if that's dangerous. Um, I don't have my Sherman yet, so a lot of this is speculation. But that was kind of the idea. So the other thing, as you can see from this view, and again, I didn't spend a lot of time on these brackets. You know, um, this thing right now, the way I have it, does, you know, fold back. Theoretically, you could kind of click lock this in place and now have a... Um, uh, a second trolley handle. I was even thinking I could take my big belly and bump it up against that thing while pushing this uphill because I just had a experience with Marty where pushing a wheel was um, part of the excitement of the adventure. But um, in any event, no, realistically, you could have kind of a trolley handle, you know, situation. But ideally, this would come down and when it locks in place, kind of structurally completes the frame and also with this rounded because you don't want it to hurt you but this kind of you know radius rounded overhang that might give the headlight just the room that it needs to protect it from a crash if that actually kind of you know completes the circle so to speak or you know gives you that roll cage in the back I don't think you need it as much and really there's a, a point at which if you don't lock it, this would eventually come back and maybe even engage the bars here, and maybe that would be a stop. Maybe that's not such a bad thing, but you could rubberize it or protect it. So that's um, kind of version one of this new idea. I'll just call it a tube frame um, seat. But the second one is similar, um, but it's even more basic in just kind of using these clamps with plates and then straight bars. And I think you could again get some of that protection, that kind of uh, you know roll cage for the headlight and maybe tail light protection. Um, I don't think you want these to um, poke out too far. And I definitely wanted to round the end so you didn't get gored. Like this is a, um, you don't want this to be like a steer, you know, coming at you with big cattle horns or something. So in any event, same kind of thing, this could tilt back. But, um, you know, when you have straight bars, you really start looking at this like, at, oh, well, wouldn't this be a good attachment point for 
um, maybe some uh, uh, you know headlights or uh, uh, who knows you know with maybe secondary LCD screens um, your radio speakers or you know you got to think about coming off the front of this seat and not wanting to catch your nards on anything so you know you got to be a little bit careful there but I do think that there are a lot of things already out there in the bike world that could take advantage of clamping on like a seven eighths inch um, you know cylinder there are head tubes and handlebars and you know bike frames and a whole lot of thing uh, things that already kind of support these basic sizes and stuff so you know to me it's easier to ride a horse in the direction it's going so if you think this is a good idea I would like to see me move forward on it um, you know I don't have a Sherman yet but I think I'll work with Marty and he's already gotten me kind of a good head start to how far apart these are. I've seen some pictures and the frames even look a little twisted and they, they apparently aren't perfectly horizontal on the top. So I'll have to kind of, you know, work out a clever, um, you know, system for doing this, but ideally something that pivots, something that's split so you can, you know, ultimately look down and uh, you know read your screen and then of course have a good comfortable seat that uh, you know has enough padding cradles you and try to make sure that these bars aren't so far out that you know you feel them when you ride you want you know foam so it's a little bit of a balancing act <clears throat> um, but on an electric unicycle everything is right pun intended okay that's all for now let me know what you think and I will shut up.